Hey, welcome back. So recently I was using Tailwind on a new project and I want to share with you what I personally learned about hover styles in Tailwind. Let me explain. So when you hover over this course thumbnail, for example, you can see if I hover over the image, it rotates and zooms. And if I hover over this area with the text, you can see, let me use this one as an example. It's easier to see. I can even zoom in a little bit further. When I hover over the bottom text part, you can see its background gets darker. And only when I hover over the image, it rotates and zooms. And that's not what I want. I want it so that if I hover over any part of this entire card, both children elements perform their own individual hover effects. Like if I show you the finished product, let me zoom in here a little bit. This is how it should work, right? So when I hover over any part of both the image or the text, the entire card as a whole, the image does its thing for hover and this text area does its thing. Now obviously I know how to do that with plain CSS if I was actually typing out the CSS myself, but in the universe of Tailwind, I had no idea how to do that. So that's the whole point of this video. I just want to show you how you would accomplish that in Tailwind. It's really simple. You would just go to the overall parent element. So in this case, I'm wanting this entire link card for when it gets hovered. So in Tailwind, that's this element. You simply give it, the parent element, a class of group. Whoops, right here, group. Now on your children elements, right? So here's the image. I want it on hover to zoom in the scale, bump up the opacity to 100, right? Rotate a tiny bit. On it, it since it's the child of this group, instead of hover colon, it would be group dash hover. So you would just do that with all individual properties, group dash hover. Really quick VS Code timeout. This has nothing to do with Tailwind, but let me undo that. I want to show you a way more efficient way of how I would add that group dash to all three of these. I would just select the word hover and then press Control or Command D two more times to select the next few instances. Use the arrow keys to go to the start of it, type the word group dash and then hit escape on my keyboard. Cool. So that did it for all three of those and then for the paragraph, right? I don't just want it to get the darker background when it gets hovered, I want it when the entire parent element gets hovered. So instead of hover, it's just group dash hover. If I save that, go back, this is my local dev environment. Now when I hover anywhere on a card, both the image zooms and rotates and you can see the paragraph element is getting darker. I realize that's not rocket science. I realize there's already probably like 10 million people on the planet that are aware of this. But if you're anything like me and you're new to Tailwind or relatively new to Tailwind, it's a cool tip to have in your toolbox, right? It's an essential thing that you would know how to do with vanilla plain CSS, but that's how you would do it in Tailwind. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.